Venus's rotation is weird as hell! Ho oh, space, you wily minx! Just sitting all around us, full of planets and stars and galaxies and nebulas and other cool and weird things. Oh, and also the vacuum of nothingness. Ahem. But even though space is full of a lot of weird stuff that we don't quite understand yet, some of that weird stuff is right around the corner, so to speak, in our own celestial neighborhood. That's right, Mr. Banana. We're talking about that lovely little planet nearby, Venus. What's so weird about Venus, you ask? Well, a lot of things. So much so that we can't actually talk about it all in one video. Nope. So instead, we're just going to focus on one of the odd things about Venus today. Its rotation is weird as hell. That's right. Listen, planets tend to rotate, right? You know this. It's why we have a day and night cycle. Without that, we'd have either been burned to a crisp or frozen in ice. That was a joke. Without rotation, there most likely wouldn't be life on Earth at all. Let alone little old homo sapiens to look up at the night sky and wonder what the heck's going on up there. If you stand on the North Pole of our lovely little Earth, the planet rotates counterclockwise. Neat. And a fun fact. If you stand on the northern pole of all the planets in our exquisite little solar system, they all rotate the same way. It's true. All except for Venus, that is. Yep. She rotates in the opposite direction. Clockwise. Weird, right? It actually is. So weird, in fact, that scientists are not even really sure why Venus rotates in the opposite direction to all her neighbors and family. Maybe she's just contrarian like that. But actually, scientists do have a couple theories that might explain this oddity. The first is the collision theory. This theory states that, as you can guess, Venus smashed into something else. Specifically, the theory is that back in ye olden days when our solar system was forming, Venus and another planet crashed into each other so hard that Venus started to spin backwards and never stopped. Cool! But there are some issues with this theory. The biggest one being, where's the physical evidence? Because here's the thing, two planets can't smash into each other without leaving a bit of wreckage behind. But Venus doesn't have a bunch of satellites, moons, circling around it, remnants of a smashed planet, or pretty rings caused by pieces of Venus and the other planet when they collided. Heck, when Earth collided with another planet way in the past, you know what happened? We got the entire moon out of that deal. And yet, there's nothing except the rotation that suggests this could be an option for Venus. Theory number two is the tidal capture theory. The what and the what now? Oh, uh, okay, we'll explain. You know how the moon always faces our planet in the same direction? We only see one face of the moon, which is why there's a dark side? This is because of tidal capture. Basically, this means that the light side of the moon is attracted to Earth's gravity more than the dark side, for whatever reason. This is just a baby space lesson. <laughs> when tidal capture happens, it means that a planet, or moon in our case, rotation is synchronized around its axis and star or planet. You get it? So, if Venus has been tidally captured by our lovely sun, Sol, then that could explain the opposite rotation. Eureka! Except, except, the thing about tidal capture is, it really shouldn't cause that type of rotation at all. It should be more like the moon, always facing one side of the sun. And it's not. Theory number three, bye-bye moon! Okay, we made that name up, but it sounds more fun than lost satellite. But the gist of this theory is that once a long time ago, Venus had its own satellite. We use satellite here to mean something orbiting around a planet, like a moon. What was Venus's satellite? Well, nothing more than the planet Mercury. Mercury is small enough and Venus large enough that Mercury totally could have been Venus's moon at some point in time. But Mercury got yanked away from Venus by our greedy sun. If this happened, the force of losing Mercury to its own orbit could have definitely caused Venus to start spinning backwards. The biggest hole in this theory, though, is that usually the satellites of planets are similar in composition to the planet itself. And that is definitely not the case for Venus and Mercury. And the final theory is the KISS theory! <laughs> okay, we made that name up too, but it, look, it makes sense. Just listen. What if there was a planet on a collision course with Venus? But what if, instead of smacking into it, it just passed really close by? Enough that its own gravitational pull gave Venus a little yank and convinced her to spin the opposite direction. Well, that could be what happened. Heck, it's possible that the planet is actually the planet that smashed into Earth, creating our moon. 
Maybe it was a large planet, and after crashing into Earth, it bounced over towards Venus. It got just close enough to force Venus to change its rotation before drifting out of our solar system. Or maybe crash into the Sun. Hey, it's even possible that little Mercury is even a piece of that planet! Who can say? But the truth is, we just don't really know why Venus is so special and odd. Maybe it's one of these theories. Maybe it's a combination of them. Hopefully one day in the future, we'll know. But for right now, Venus is probably just enjoying all the attention. If you love learning about the weird rotation of Venus, don't forget to click like and to subscribe. And let us know in the comments what you'd like to know about Venus.